Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in the Cursed Estate and I am ready for an adventure. I've been kind of planning on who to take with us and what to level up and sort of thing. And I was planning on leveling up the level threes, but we only really have a good mission that's in the ruins that's long, that's level three. So I was like, nah, well let's, let's not do that. And then I was like, okay, let's change my build. But there wasn't, basically, there isn't really a good mission to go for that's going to be appropriate and long enough. Like, there's a medium one here that we could maybe do, but I actually think going for this and trying to get the first of many, the Hive Owner Trinket with Never Enders Wasting sounds decent. Um, so maybe we could mess around with that. And I've gone for a pretty interesting build here. Now, we won't get a ton of XP, so I don't expect this to level everyone all the way up, but it should level up Linus at least. Um, and essentially what I've gone for here is... Um, a build where Henry will be doing most of the healing. Him being a doctor kind of makes a little more sense. But essentially, he's gonna his damage range is a little lower because he's got the otherworldly bell. But he's also got the syringe, so it's gonna buff the healing up to three from the otherworldly bell. And then everyone else essentially serves to debuff. So we've got Linus here that's gonna be using mainly uh, his spike trap to debuff speed and dodge. Then we've got Leo here that's gonna be essentially stunning the hell out of everything and. Aaron is following up with the plus 11 crits received on enemies as well as the stealthing and on top of that he's going to be giving marks and blocks to the doctor along with a buff to speed and damage versus marked and crit while marked so he should be critting a lot more with this and I'm hoping I'm hoping that this leads to pretty good stuff we have a full-on um scouting chance little thing for Aaron here because he's really going to be just debuffing. Leo's got his super stun chance stuff on. We've got the uh, focus ring for that accuracy um, and then the gyro slime just for a little bit more sustain and then obviously this one that I went over. Now this probably isn't the best build for leveling up I, I probably would assume but we just don't really have a good quest for leveling up. I was really hoping for a long um, level 4 quest, but we just don't have one. So I'm going to go on a long veterans level 3. It's a little bit under our station, considering these guys are level 4s. Um, so I'm not sure how this will go. It'll probably go over pretty easily. And I don't know. It's... It's... It's toying with me. Maybe I should go for the, um, medium. We'd get more XP for the medium level 4, I think. Yeah, let's, okay, let's go for that. I really do want this trinket, but let's go for this one instead. And then we do have the chance for the collector as well, so that could be fun. So we'll try that out and see how that goes. Um, one thing I do want to do here is let's just get rid of that and put on um, probably the Stonefall, uh, because we're not going to be able to use this blunderbuss from any sort of range. So I think the... Um, Blunderbuss is going to be fine. Oh, also, we can't use that either, so... I mean, what we could do, actually, is take that off, put that on, and just switch these two around, and I think that, that fixes that problem pretty much entirely. Uh, so this should be a pretty good build. We'll go in here, and we've got the Slay the Boss and the Thing from the Stars available here. Should be kind of interesting. So we do, of course, have a healing ability on um, Aaron here, but it's a pretty weak healing ability. Uh, this is a bit of a riskier build. I'm definitely aware of that, but I think it could be fun. Um, first thing we need to do is just quickly check on our um, ability to prevent Knights of Ambush, which it doesn't look like we currently have. Okay, we have one there, and we also need to check on our skill levels as well, because I don't think everyone's skilled up right now. Let's go all the way to the top. All the way to the top, right. Okay, uh, so you're not, you're not properly skilled up, Henry. Oh, damn, you're missing a few levels here. Uh, what we're using... First two, that one, that one. There you go. You were missing quite a bit there. Just check everyone else real quick. Okay. Looks like we're all good on that department. Okay. Let's give this a go then, shall we? We're going to jump into this one here and see how this goes. Um, let's jump in with all of our food. We'll go with five shovels and five of everything else. And we do have quite a lot of diary entries today, a lot more than usual, because we do have a new writer as part of the crew. I'm going to go through some of Cells first, because she's got some existing characters she wants to write for, and then we'll jump into some of the new ones in a moment. So the first one here, like I said, coming from Cell, is an entry for Dismas. I got around to talking with Ryan. It was awkward to say the least, but we were at least able to find some common ground in our occult knowledge. Nil's existence was of particular note to him. 
as it seemed that even for a sentient homunculus, which was rare in its own right, one with N Nil's abilities uh, is next to unheard of. So it seems that um, Ryan is really taking an interest in um, Dismas's otherworldly brother, Nil. Uh, and then we have another one here by Cell as well, and this is for Trellar Revenant. When I got to speaking with Chasey, the oddest thing happened. My Revenant bands, the bindings which gave me my power, began to hum softly. Usually this only happens when another Revenant is standing in close proximity. Could her powers somehow be, rela be related to where mine come from? That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Seems that their, pa their paths may have crossed in a previous life. Oh, we get a bonus to damage and resolve XP here. Definitely glad we went for this then. Definitely glad we went for this. Didn't even think about that. But yeah, essentially we want to be getting all of our kills with Henry here. Um, and... With that, as long as he can roll on the higher side of things with his damage range, um, we should we should see a lot of healing, which I'm, I'm really hoping for. This could be a very interesting little build here. Just a few people mentioned about doing, like, non-heal up builds, and I kind of like the idea of it. With this, with this, what we got going on, it's definitely possible, so I really wanted to try it out. And like I said, we do have some healing in Aaron just in case. Of course! Luckily we have Leo on turn, um, so we can just do this and stun him back to back most likely and probably deal with this guy pretty easily. I would I would suspect at least. Got that debuff there as well. Um, yeah, let's do that, get the crits received going. And hope for big damage here. There's his stun. Hopefully we can stun him again here. Ah, I resisted. Nowhere. Nowhere. He doesn't have any prop. Let's do that again just to lower his speed even further. Essentially guarantees we go first. Um, and then do this for 22% crit uh, Yeah, 22% crit received. Hopefully we get a crit. There you go. That's what we want to see. And he's almost dead already. He's going to get a turn here, but we are in a very good spot for killing the Collector very early on. I think um, we might actually be able to kill with a blunderbuss here. Um, yeah, we, just, we do have to be careful. Headbutt's going to be a problem, but luckily we got the dodge there. Um, I think we just silence one of you, stop you from doing anything. Probably should have gone for this guy because he still has a turn left, to be honest. That would have been a smart decision. Um, do you know what? As much as it's not going to do too much damage, I'm going to go for that. Keep that going. Um, let's do that because it's got knockback. And, hmm, what do we go for here? What do we go for here? I think we do this, give you, give you that block. Glad I did. Glad I did. And this might kill him. No, not quite. But we should just about get him here. Unfortunately, the dodge and miss there. Headbutt's going to hurt gonna hurt quite a bit but that extra stun there is helping out a lot so who's got a turn left you've got a turn left so let's stun you out and do that again even more damage coming in and you are very low on health you're probably gonna try and steal some hp away now aren't you but we'll deal with that when we come to it he's probably gonna do life steal i would imagine yeah there you go but he dodged again very nice Minus four, <laughs> minus 175 dodge and minus 49 speed. This man is fucked. This man is destroyed. Okay. Um, I might want to use this a little more as well. Iron Flesh. It's going to blight us, but it's going to give us plus 65 prop. It's going to mark us. It's going to give us a block. It's going to lower our stress. Maybe I'll wait until we need some stress relief with that. Also, let's take a look at this. This is going to move us back one. Um, it's going to have a chance to stun us. This will kill, though, won't it? Of course. Of course. It didn't get the chance to kill because it missed. Damn, I forget how bad his accuracy is. Damn. Okay, we're well, one hit off killing him here. Please, please, please hit. Headbutt coming in on Leo. This isn't going great, I have to say. Thank you, Linus, for pretty much clearing that whole mess up for us. 
Hey, plus 30 armor piercing. Very nice. Very happy with that. Uh, we'll do that there. We do have food for healing up as well. We did bring a lot of food with us, so I'll use that when we can. Of course we got the uh, collector right away there. Of course we did. It was to be expected, wasn't it? Um, always has to happen for us. But we carry on. Of course, in situations like that, the otherworldly bells tactic doesn't really work as well. Um, you really want a lot of smaller enemies, and we're not getting that at the minute. Um, so this this less healing tactic might not go as well as we'd hoped. Let's get a stun on you. Nice. We really don't have to, have to worry at all about stun resists and stuff, because we're always going to hit that stun. It does. It has such a high chance to hit. Um, we do that. We just get all these debuffs lined up on him. And then hit. Only 19 damage there. That's not a lot, but what can we do? We can go for the stun again and probably hit it. Indeed we did. Even with a plus 50 resist, it doesn't mean anything for us. Builds like this are just fun. They're a bit strange, but they're fun. I'm going to go for the hit on you. Um, he's already de-stealthed, so... Let's set you up with this, shall we? That lasts for a battle as well. Okay, that's very nice. Nice. Big damage. Okay, embrace the darkness coming in. Nice. Dodge. People have been dodging the stress very nicely at the moment. And there's that three healing for everyone. And that is more than the base, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we are moving over that threshold and getting more than the base level of healing. So one, one uh, significant problem is the fact that bodies are going to be in the way and we're going to have to clear them, which does reduce stress, which is nice. But we're going to have to clear them so that Henry can actually get in and do some damage. We're going to have to make sure we do that. Nice. Indeed, a handsome reward. Eee, we found a secret room as well. Got that huge, huge, huge scouting chance, so we'd really, most likely we're going to find it. I'm happy, I'm happy that we did. And here's the thing from the stars. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Just wow. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. He's stunned. Oh, he resisted. Yes. So we're going to actually use Blight here because he has pretty high stun resist. He has decent Blight chance and the Blight does good damage. Um... We use this here. We want the armor break to break his pro. Oh, he doesn't have pro at the minute. I'm stupid. But still, that's that's good for the future. Good for the future. That's okay. Minus 25 damage is a bit annoying. In fact, it's so annoying that I'm going to do that. Um. Oh, you really can't be missing, Henry. You're our damage dealer. You're our damage dealer, Henry. You really can't be missing like that. Holy hell. We'll do that. I think Linus will take out this thing. Because he's still not got his prot yet, so... Linus, you get rid of that. Good, good. Okay, this is a little scary. Light coming in. The stress is getting pretty heavy. I actually think that we do this. Take on some Blight, but I think that we need to do that. It only lasts for two rounds, though. Maybe not worth it if it only lasts for two rounds. Um, I think we still keep doing this. Do crits received. Because that helps everyone, not just uh, Henry. Okay, maybe Henry should destroy this to give everyone healing. Is that a good idea? Can I... Okay, you, you've, got, you've got your buff, but you don't have that prot yet. I'm going to try this. I can stun him, cool. It is plausible to happen. Nice. Yeah, I think if I kill this, it'll top everyone's healing off with Henry, so I'm going to try that out. We're going to take another 6 damage, so I'm going to get rid of that. Ah, oh, that doesn't work! Okay, that, I, I've been cheated there. I thought it'd heal everyone with Otherworldly Bell, and it didn't. I feel, I feel absolutely cheated. Waste of a turn. Damn it, Leo got stunned. Of course. Of course he did. This has put us in a particularly bad spot at the moment. It really has. Be gone, 
a particularly bad spot. Nice. Huge damage there. We've got Ala piercing with Henry as well. So if he can hit, he is going to kill it relatively quickly. Nice. That block. Sky Tin. 29 stress as well. Oh, my God. And that's a lot of blight, too. Oh, my God. Stress check probably incoming here, I would imagine. Um... He doesn't have his stun resist, so I'm going to try and stun him again. Nice. He's got two actions, but I still think that's uh, worthwhile. Low roll there, dude. Low roll. Thank you for that low, low roll. Holy fuck. 12 over 4. My god. Back to the pit. We need to get rid of that. Um... I, th I think we still keep pressuring him with the crits received. Okay. Stress check inbound. I'm going to do that. Vorpal strike coming in. Nice dodge. Okay. Let's get rid of that. There we go. 55 crit. That's what we're looking for. Let it return to them. And there's some of them. Lovely. I can't believe we missed out on some of those last time, but we got them this time. And there's both of the uh, roaming bosses taken out in a single run. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Mm, that's pretty cool. Pretty much back-to-back -back as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was back-to-back. -back. Hopefully we can get some more food here. Slight amount of more food. In fact, I will eat a little bit here just to level you out a little bit. Okay. Do you have a fight here? Let's go for it. Jump on in. Henry leading the charge. Aaron probably wanted to go to the ruins here. I would suspect he's been sort of pestering to find the, um, the Freya. Uh, but unfortunately, he's been dragged out onto the wield mission. Um, and Leo, Leo's kind of in a weird position. Him and Mary have kind of sort of retired. Hey, it's the talent people. Uh, they've kind of retired, but at the same time, he's he, he does get dragged out because he's very useful. He knows how to use that chain. And then Linus, Linus has been killing it recently. I, I I genuinely think he's become like the tactician of the whole the whole Hamlet. Like he just knows he just knows his way around and knows his, knows his way around every trap and. A lot of the enemy's weaknesses. I think he's gone over those with the um, with sixth. Nice, indeed a singular strike. Right, we need to get some kills here real fast. Start getting our healing going. Um, just do that. Get that on you. Nice. That's a very, very good repost there. Holy hell. Our resolve has been tested, but we're powerful. Yes. Powerful. That's very nice. I don't actually know what powerful's giving us here. Uh, let's bandage you up. Finish you off. Oh, really? Hmm. That's annoying. Stun you out. Nice. Oh, ow. That is a shot right through the head there. Uh, what's he getting from... 25% for Virtue. 25% for Virtue. 25% for Virtue. He's getting a lot of stuff on Virtue here. Ooh, nice. Holy hell. Plus 25% damage on Virtue. Oh, God, he's getting a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Um... Okay, we'll set up that. Really want Doctor to be getting the kills here. 59 crit. Awesome. Has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be um, let's heal up a little bit here. It's not super necessary, but we'll do it. Then we'll stun you out. Try and get some kills here. Nice. We won't get the healing here. Oh, no, we did. Good. I, I was thinking normally when you're in combat, sometimes you don't get the buffs, but we did that time. Nice. Um, we'll make space for those. 
Good, good. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I think we'll head back over and camp. Heading back over and camping up seems like the best idea. But yeah, this is a bit of an odd group, really. Uh, in terms of personalities, I feel like these guys would maybe clash a little bit. But some, a lot of people haven't really seen the the more animalistic side of Henry yet. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe many people know what he truly is. Interesting for people to find out. Do you know what? I'm going to camp here so we've got space to put whatever's in the secret room. Right, so let's camp up. And we'll get into some more diary entries. So, first of all, let's do this. Um, and yes, we do indeed have more diary entries by a new person to the writing crew, Strange Wonder, who's been uh, catching up on the series as of late. The first diary entry here is for Felfer. Um, and this is when they went out onto the expedition recently. Went out on an expedition with a bunch of interesting fellows this week. That guy with the dogs and the two weird masked ones was surprising when Isaac uh, said he wanted to tag along. Can't say I en uh, enjoyed my time. Damned wheel just a filthy and rotten as always. You'd think after all those monsters we killed there the last time, um, th that'd be the last of them. But the numbers just keep growing. The goddamn bugs appeared again. Doc seemed ecstatic to see them, but I just had a few hours to clean up all of the filth from my weapon, lest the damned cursed get to me too. Um, one other thing. Note for the future. Leave torches, uh, leave torching random mushrooms in infested graveyards to someone else. The damn ghost nearly sliced my face off. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they did fight the Banshee there and that didn't go quite their way. We do have another one here and this is from um, Isaac, again by Strange Wonder. After the time I spent researching the body of the new arrivals in town, a strange bug infested human that seems to retain perfect control of himself. I have found myself in, um, I have found myself in need of fresh samples and possibly a few bodies to study. So I've decided to approach a group planning a trip to the wheels in search of possible stragglers. And it would seem that my hopes were well placed. We encountered a group of them during our travels. After killing the creatures, me and Lucas collected samples and we decided to take two of the corpses along with us. I just hope that studying their bodies will bring me closer to discovering the ultimate cure for the disease. I don't have much time, as I hear some people start showing symptoms yet again. Ooh, damn. Damn. But yeah, we'll jump in here, see what we can do. Um, we want to be going with this, definitely. Prevent nighttime ambush. And let's have a look. Uh, all companions extra speed and accuracy. I think we'll go for that. That's very good, especially for you. Uh, and then we'll go with... Nah, we don't really need that. I, I genuinely think we don't really need much here. Let's just remove some stress, shall we? There you go. Not bad. And we'll carry on. By the way, I do apologize to anyone that writes diary entries if I ever butcher them or, or say them wrong. I, I have a little bit of dyslexia, so my English isn't the best. <laughs> I'll try to use that as an excuse as much as possible, but <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, right, that's nice. We got some good stuff there. Really should put my torch out before I go to those. People have m mentioned that to me previously, and I always forget, so I do apologize about that. Finding Keep moving forward. First test. Now it must be carried home. Should end a good chunk of change off of this mission, I think. Okay, got a battle here. Parasite spider and a shriekling. We'll um, stun the spider, or we'll just kill it. Nice one, Leo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but very welcome. We'll uh, trap you to get rid of that dodge. Getting rid of the dodge before we uh, get Henry is super valuable. And I think we'll just do Thunder here. Ooh, not quite. We'll set that up on you. With this powerful here, it's just unstoppable right now. It's great. Absolutely unstoppable. There you go. You bite me, but it does nothing. He still heals, though. Cheeky little bastard. He still heals. Holy hell, Leo. You're not the damage dealer. <laughs> Let Henry get the kills. God damn it. There you go. 51. Your life is mine. Just leaving behind a body. Nothing more. Hey, lots of gold there. Um, I think we'll take that. Thank you. 
We'll keep heading forward. We've only got a few rooms over here that we really need to look into. It's worth checking out nonetheless. This is a ragtag group, but they're doing well so far. And there's the graveyard once more. Um, certainly tempting, but we don't have any DOTs and we don't have significant healing or stress healing. So I'm not going to bother with that for now. I think that this team really isn't prepared, especially not as prepared as the last. Okay, we do have a fight out here. Pretty interesting group here. All surprised, lovely. Should be pretty easy kills here then. Um, yeah, set up that on you. We can de-stealth one of these. A nice hit there. And we'll de-stealth you. You've been shown by the light. You unholy creature. Hey, you just buffed everyone with 15% damage. Damn, fortunate miss on the dog there, but it is stunned, so it's not a worry. And we do heal people up a little bit as well. Great stuff. Ow. Rabid rush coming in. Don't get rabies, please. Oh, by the way, we never looked at what disease um, Henry contracted. Uh, Sky Tain. That's very bad. Wow. That is a disease that I do not want to be seeing. Oh, this... Like... I need to check when I when I go to attack enemies how much chance things have to hit because that skill, this one, it, it just it's terrible. <laughs> it never hits. Accuracy base eighty five, and it still has such a hard time hitting it. Right, stun you out. Give you your buffs. Get them crits coming out finish you off and then Henry should easily clean this up oh no Linus always always coming in clutch Linus ended up being far more powerful this time around than I ever thought it would be Push on to the task's end. okay I need to eat don't touch the graveyard I'm fine thank you would not like to touch that please and we're near the end of this dungeon. We near its end. Let's have a little look, see what lies and waits for us. I do enjoy playing as Henry. He's got he's, he's, he can be a little infuriating if you get really low rolls on his damage, but that makes him all the more interesting. Wow, we are getting a lot of talent torturers. Um they are I think they're on the hunt for um our Falconeer. Which is a little bit of a shame, but We'll bring her out next, actually, I think. There's a pretty interesting build we can do with her that someone mentioned to me that I really want to try out. The will to fight. Nice. He's always critting. He's always critting. It's great. Henry, get in there and destroy this guy. I probably should have de-stealthed this dude, but I'd rather get the bonus crit chance here. Ow. A little bit of bleed there. Henry's going to come in and get a massive hit here, though, aren't you? Absolutely massive hit. 18. That's pretty big. Could have been bigger. Little bit of a mix around there, but we got a lot of resists here. Stun you out. Another crit, Leo. What in the hell is going on? You're just meant to be here to stun people. You're just out here destroying everyone. The greater the glory. Both Leo and Linus are doing great work. We should probably always start with that, considering that gives the 11 crit as well. Finish you off. Kill shot. Haha, -ha, blocks. That kill shot does a lot of damage, so I'm glad we blocked that. Get rid of that body. Unfortunately, destroying bodies doesn't give us uh, healing. That'd be great if it did. Nice. Bleeding a little bit. I definitely want to get Henry to get the kill here. God damn it, Leo. <laughs> I just like to think that Henry's like, Guys, you said you are going to get let me get some kills. Come on. <laughs> let me get some kills, guys. And Leo's like, Watcha! No. 
I whip. Alright, so we'll start off with this this time. We're stunning the spider out. Hopefully, I'm gonna try and go with the uh, the one that doesn't tend to hit everyone, but see how that goes. Another crit, holy hell. Yeah, I'm gonna try and go with, uh, with this. I was a fool to ever think that would hit. <laughs> a damned fool. We blocked the web. Refreshes our mark though, which is good. Stun you out as well. I love having Leo on a team. Just just the utility of him is so strong. And his blight's still really good as well, even if you don't have anything to boost his blight damage. Yeah. <laughs> Henry isn't getting a word in Edgeways here. And that doesn't count as a kill either, so we don't get any healing. Ah, Evil. Evil game. As victories mount, so, so too do the resistance. The resistance, indeed. I'm gonna get throw out the portraits. Don't need them too much. Oh, I threw out gold. I'm a fool. Did not mean to do that. A little more scouting. Okay, we don't have anything else over here. We'll check this here. See what it is. Uh, get a positive quirk. Why not? Um, who could do with a positive quirk? I think Henry actually. Give it to Henry. He gets steady. Finally, something to smile about. Minus 10 stress. Cool. We'll end off that quest there. Did pretty well. We got a lot of gold there. A lot and a lot of gold. Happy to see it. 27,000. And we got everyone to level 5. Very nice indeed. Minus 10 scouting chance isn't great. Um, beast hit, that's decent. You got the creeping cough, that's not a problem. Um, okay, decent. Got some okay stuff there. Carnage calls. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, a level zero, but the ringmaster has arrived. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let me just check on this. I think you can only receive her from a town event, so I might have to take her now. Um, let me go and have a little look-see. Uh, hmm. I've got a little a little thing here for us. Uh, the Ringmaster is a versatile dynamic uh, addition to any party comfortable anywhere in the battlefield. Custom. I don't think she can only be taken from town events. I think she can be taken normally as well. So I'll, I'll leave her for now, because I think she can be taken normally as well. Uh, we do have some more dire entries to get into here. We have one for Victoria, again, this is by Strange Wonder. It's been quite some time since the others killed the Baron. The bugs have become quiet, spooked away from the uh, from invading further for some time. The good doctor has come up with a very effective cure in the meantime, stopping most of the curses spreading across the hamlet. However, things are starting to change once more. Two people had shown up from the courtyard. Brothers. One a hideous, hideous abomination, infested with bugs, yet retaining full control of himself, and the other leaving a thick trail of blood stench behind him, yet looking perfectly normal. And Isaac has brought some more corpses from the weald. It would be idiotic to, idiotic to think that they'd cease their attempts to overtake the rest of the hamlet. And I have the feeling that yet another hideous but familiar face stands behind this expanse. I'll have to warn the rest. Very interesting. I think we might try and make our way for another... Um... Yeah, we don't have anyone else. Uh, we might try and make our way for another mission here just to go for a short one. We'll try it out. Let's uh, quickly unequip our trinkets and reorganize this. Uh, also, we need to just quickly do this here. Uh, you really need to get rid of that. So we'll do that. And then let's check this. So we got vi massive virtue chance increase. Um, extra stun chance, range damage skill. Nothing particularly amazing there. Um, we do have a bit more of this now. The ringmaster. Poster. We've got some interesting stuff here. Hmm. Plus 30 rounds delay craving. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to delay the certain aspects of the craving. Wow. That's insanely good. 30% <laughs> chance monster prize and plus 40 scouting chance. 
Holy hell. Holy hell. That's insanely good. Hive, plus 25% self harm suffered. When hit, repulsed. 90 accuracy. What? On return, plus 3% shards. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Got some cool stuff there. Uh, I might have to have a look into getting some of those. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But let's have a little look, see if we can do another short adventure to end off this episode. Um, before doing anything else, because we might have the chance here to go in and just do one last one if there's a short one available so let's grab these guys out of our party we've got we just got to be quick about making the party up uh that's a long one is there a short if there isn't a short one then we might not bother we need a short level four we do have a short level four into the um into the courtyard i don't know if that's where we want to go Hmm. I'm not 100% sure if that's the best idea or not. Yeah, I think I think we'll probably leave it here, actually. A uh, little bit of a shorter episode than normal, but I think it's best to leave it here because we don't have a mission available that's going to be the best for us to do, especially while we're leveling people up still. still quite a few people that we need to get leveled, so... Um, we're probably going to... I'd say we've probably got, like, three more episodes, maybe four more episodes of leveling. Um, before we get everyone leveled up. Uh, we'll see about that, though. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we do have one more diary entry that I just forgot about as well. Uh, yet another one from Strange One Day. has been writing a lot here. And this is for Sunasis, our librarian. The writing seems to be done in a bit of haste, though there is no mistakes. It's been a while since I managed to leave this personal message, uh, leave a personal message of my own. These past few months have been grueling in terms of all the work and research I had to undergo. And if I had truly learned one thing while working in these cursed lands, and risking my life to take a closer look at its horrors is that there seems to be no end to their creativity. Ooh, very interesting. But I'm super looking forward to um, Strange Wonder being part of the writing team more in the future. Very big thank you to joining. I always like it when we have new writers and anyone else that's watching that wants to get involved, please let me know. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.